Hello and welcome to another exciting Let's Play starring me, L1011 Widebody, and today we're going to be playing the Ultimate Doom. But it's not just any regular Doom. This is the Doomsday Engine source port recommended to me by my good YouTube friend NightbirdDS, and. This is a source port that's supposed to add lots and lots of new options. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. Oh, everything's very quite different, isn't it? All kinds of custom resolutions and different things. Preferred music source, input. I guess we'll just have to discover this as we go along. Lights. Halos, textures, objects, particles, closed panel, uh, controls, up, down, left, right, jump. A lot of these are familiar from Z Doom, which is the source port I've been using for the past seven or eight years. But there's a lot more here. Open chat, macros, backspace equals backspace. Oh, oh, very amusing. HUD, housing and urban development. What other options are there? Gameplay, always run. Yes. Look spring, auto aim, allow jumping, any boss triggers. 666, oh, these are different compatibility things. Okay, don't need to worry about those. HUD! Oh, the skull is spinning around. Single key display, auto hide, unhide, recent damage, messages, show, uptime. Huh. It auto resets its, its uh, orientation. Crosshair, symbol, cross, opacity, vitality, color. Well, I like blue, so we'll go with blue. Or, wait. I see. Enter. Aha! I see, said the blind man. There's a lot of s auto map um thing options weapons plasma rifles shotgun micro ah, blah, 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 blah. sound okay mouse we'll probably have to fiddle with that a little bit while we get into the game. So I use the mouse myself. What is read this? Oh, the good old Doom help screen. Okay. Well, that's all out of the way. Let's go right ahead into oh, single player or multiplayer. Hmm. Well, we'll just do single player for now. Knee deep in the dead, the shores of Val Inferno. Where is uh, thy flesh consumed? Uh, hurt me plenty. So, here I are in Doom. Ooh. So, they, uh, need to fix the, um,. Mouse sensitivity right away because it's not quite. Um, needs to be up. X. No. Y is up and down, X is side to side. Let's try that. Okay, that seems to be a little better. Maybe a bit too much. Na, na, na. Oh, I see. I have left and right keyboard arrows are also set 
to move. That's what's screwing me up. Uh, turn left. Whoops. No, cancel. Ah, no, not escape. Oh, now I can't turn left and right at all. <sighs> you give you too many options, and you just go ahead and use them, huh? Okay. Now it seems to be too sensitive. Um. <clears throat> I will get this at some point. Bear with me. I think that's good. Okay. Push the button. Oh, it closed. That opens up this uh, thing over here. The green sludge is damaging. So the graphics all seem to be a little bit uh, nicer. What was that? Ricochet effects on the bullets, huh? Oh, I'm getting shot at. Oh, and lighting effects. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, there are ricochet effects. But you have to hit them. Okay. I think that's enough of hanger. Ow. Blow up the... Oh, nice explosion effects. Exit door. See if there's anything interesting new when we exit. Not really. I missed some secrets. Way over the part time. Whatever. Nuclear plant. Something is growling at me. Die. They still shoot each other, huh? The uh, ricochet effects are kind of neat. Oh. The uh, anti-aliasing uh, is kind of unusual. They look, sort of look like they're kind of floating in place when they walk in front of you. They don't seem like they're really part of the environment. That's kind of a weird effect. I'm not sure if you can uh, see it very well. Go ahead and just kind of cruise through this level real quick. There's somebody breathing. I get the shotgun. The iconic weapon of doom. Oh, hello. Thought there was this secret over there, but I guess not. Bang! Bang! Well, that was kind of cool. Blood splatter effects. Oh, they disappear after a while. That's kind of odd. They don't have uh, bullet holes in this, like in uh, Z Doom has. Z-Doom has the uh, bullet holes effects. That opens a door to somewhere. 
I think it's this place. Colored lighting is very nice, though. Ow. Picked up another backpack. It doesn't make a, uh... A secret sound. Oh, the, uh... The, uh... Oh, that's interesting. Oops. Pardon me while I get shot while I'm not paying attention. But the, uh... See, the uh, mini-map has a fade effect on it. Damn it! Leave me alone when I'm trying to take advantage of things. Ah! Silence! Look at it fade. Okay. Um, but uh, unlike in Z-Doom, it doesn't list the... Um number of enemies that are remaining or the number of secrets and it's also got kind of a a fade effect at the edge of the uh, boundary too which is kind of cool I'm going to adjust the mouse down just a little bit more and I think that should get me into a happy zone Maybe. Oh, the light, the lamp has lighting effects now, too. That's cool. So notice they didn't have that in the original Doom. Oop! Die! I think I want just a little more. Maybe like that. That should be good. Ow! See, I didn't get into that part, so that's okay. It's not a 100% run, just running around for the sake of exploring stuff. Oh! Come on! Ow! Ow! See, watch the blood. It, uh, just sort of fades out. Very, uh, PG-13. Take care of that. Oh, it's taking me a lot longer to get through these levels than it should. Let me see if I can get through this one faster. And this is the one with the secret level in it. But you've all probably seen the uh, secret level, so I don't need to show you how to get to it. So I'll just kind of cruise through this one fast. Nice uh, ricochet effect from the uh, sergeant getting exploded, getting sent across the room like that in a spray of blood and guts. That was kind of cool. I didn't check to see if there were any um, 
music uh, emulation options. Because I know when... Whoop! Hello. Oh! There we go. In uh, Z-Doom, you can have it so that it emulates the uh, old Yamaha OPL2 chipset and makes it sound all, uh, all uh, 90s-ish. And see, this one's just playing through the default um, Windows mapper, so the music doesn't sound that exciting. I thought I saw some kind of option in there somewhere for importing different kinds of music. There's lots of uh, remixes that people have made for the music for Doom. It's been pretty popular for that kind of stuff over the years. Let's go ahead and uh, run to the exit here. Shotgun! Yeah, piece of cake! That's Duke Nukem. Boom! <laughs> and that's the end of Tuxin Refinery. No secrets found. Command control. This is the song that's got the song from uh, Pantera, uh, Rise. Boom. We will rise. All kinds of stuff going on in here. Surprised that didn't hurt me more than it should have. So, got the blue key now. Let's find out where to stick it. Ooh, there's a shotgun guy up there. Going up. More guys over here. So, as far as source ports go, this one seems to be pretty faithful to the original kind of Doom feel as far as everything. I know Z-Doom added a lot of um, extra bells and whistles and stuff that made it feel more like um, the build engine that was for, used for Duke Nukem and Shadow Warrior and all kind of games. So this one just seems like it's had more uh, graphical effects and things, and the uh, gameplay is very smooth. Oop. But, uh, it's kind of strange that it doesn't add the, uh, bullet effects, or one of the other things that, uh, I noticed it's not doing is the, uh, 
than a lot of the other source boards do, the uh, crosshair doesn't change color as you lose health. And some of them it'll start as green when you're at 100% and then go to yellow when you're down to 50 and red at 25%. But this one stays the same color, so... Not really a uh, critique or a criticism, but that seems to be one of the uh, kind of standard features that a lot of uh, source ports do. There's probably uh, an option in there, in the options to... Ow! Right in the face! Uh... To change that. But, uh, I didn't explore too much. Boom. I'm running low on health. Die. There's a demon. There's demons in the base. I heard you. Where are you? Hmm. Help. there. Don't blow up the barrel, it would kill me. There's another demon. Blowing him up into splody giblets. Picked up a medikit that I really needed. See that the green uh, sludge doesn't uh, glow, which would uh, I would have thought would have been uh, kind of a neat effect with all the uh, lighting effects. Exit. Entering Phobos Lab. Oh, this is one of the levels in the demo, isn't it? Ow. I do see, it seems to... Oh, that's an interesting effect for the... Uh, the um, specters are no longer um, white transparent. They're actually colored pink, uh, and you can see them. See? That's interesting. So we go over here. It triggers the platform. Go up here. Thing. Kill that guy, open this thing, get some goodies. It tells you when you find a secret area, but it doesn't make a noise like uh, Z Doom and them do. You see, the key's got a glowing effect to it. Stand still! Arg. Die. Take that. Oh, the uh, sprites are uh, extra two dimensional now, huh? That's interesting. I got the shotgun. Oh, hello. Goodbye. 
All of the dying. So, I have the yellow key, so let's go in the yellow door. Oh, that's the guys down there. Angry guys. Why you have to be angry? It's only doom. Die. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Please don't kill me. Ugh. Apparently, I'm slightly more out of practice with Doom than I had thought. Oh! I have been killed. The end.